Hello, and good afternoon, Rumble Raiders. My name is Sir Henry Jackson Francis Titus Andronicus Mercutio III of the Eastern Province of Eastern Estonia. Today we'll be discussing the influence of Western civilization on the Minoan accent of America. But otherwise, we'll be discussing on the relevance of the mystery box in Rumble history. A long, long time ago, but not too long, but long enough though, because it's long, a box was discovered here on campus, and that box came from a parent who did not know what to do, thus leaving him here with us and allowing his legacy to unfold in front of our eyes. The young box grew up around the Rommel campus and was embraced by the students and faculty. Soon enough, he was 14 years old and joined the Rommel family and his legacy was about to begin. Once he became a student, he was immediately a problem, being late to class, Not exactly the most agile in the athletic performance field. You know, we have tryouts every year for Rommel football, and we have all kind of kids come out. But then this one boy came in late, he walked to my door, I thought it was a joke. He had a, a, a box, he was like a bubble boy in Seinfeld, he was a box boy to me. And uh, I said he could try out, I knew right away he couldn't make it, but I said I gotta give this kid a chance, I didn't wanna get in trouble with the administration. So I said, okay son, I'm gonna take you out, let's go do a few drills. So we're gonna run the 40. He had his box on, he had some nice cleats, but he still had his box on, didn't take it off, kind of like a turtle. So we start on the 40, I went to time him, and guys, I'm gonna show you right here, the battery went dead on my watch. I mean, when I started, the battery went dead. By the time I started and he finished, I had a dead battery. I didn't get a time on him, but it had to be real, real slow. Then I said, okay, we'll give him a chance in the weight room. And we put him in the weight room. Thought he might have had some muscles under that box, but. <laughs> I did everything I could to keep him laughing, but I had to try him one more thing, and that was receiver. He wanted to play receiver, he said, and uh, whew, that was ugly. He couldn't even run a route, and uh, he couldn't get his hands around the box to catch the ball. So the next morning, I told him to come back, and I'd let him know if he made the team or not, and I, I just told him that box seemed to hinder him a little bit. I don't know what was under there, but he never even gave me his name. I couldn't even tell you he was in school, but we didn't keep him. So he was one of the guys that did not make the team. He was not the most gifted student academically. Oh. When the box first came into this class, he was a complete clown. First of all, he didn't have his books for about three weeks. On the first practice test, he got a 12. The guy didn't know a fraction from the Pythagorean theorem. He was an idiot. And what's more, most days he just put his head down on the desk and slept. I mean, this guy drooled on his paper. What an idiot. Mr. Box, wake up! Still sleeping? And listen, I'm tired of seeing you in here. Now you need to get your act right, improve your attitude, and this is the last time I want to see you in here. Now get up and get out of here. And by the way, leave the wristband and get some shoes. But one day, the young box looked for advice, seeking counsel from someone that could help with his problems. He ran into one of the guardians at Archbishop Rummel High School, Mr. Fluff Daddy, AKA Rick James, AKA Mr. Kirkwood. Hey young fella, how's it going? I know you're having a hard time right now, but we expect great things out of you here at Rummel. It's a great place to be. We have a good atmosphere, we have great teachers, we even have a good student body. I know you have talents that can be used around here. You think I got to where I am by not following rules, misbehaving? Hey, that's why I got all those alter egos like Rick James, Fluff Daddy. You understand where I'm going? Let me leave you with this little fella, a quote from the late great John Wood. Can't let praise or criticism get to you. It's a weakness to get caught up in either one. After that discussion, the box had changed dramatically, literally. 
but not literally, because he was still the same box. But his outlook on Rummel and how he felt about being a Raider had changed, and this was seen throughout campus. Here's the box. Great job. The box graduated as valedictorian of his class, accumulating many accolades, including 726,000 yards on 14 million catches, even though that doesn't make any sense. He also had massive influences on the architectural structure of Rummel. Your classrooms? Boxes. Bathrooms? Boxes. Storage rooms? You guessed it. Rectangle. Now, besides that, there was also other worldly influences, like the cable television show called The Box, where you could order any music video you wanted. That was his doing. But more importantly, the box has come back to reclaim his victory and reclaim his throne as the most heroic and amazing character that Rummel ever produced.